we are going to learn process capability full version we are going to do it in excel that means we are going to learn process capability all indices that is cp cpk pp ppk cpm everything we are going to learn as you all know that pp ppk is very easy to calculate in excel but whereas the cp cpk it is very difficult to do it in excel because there is a work around we have to do we have to find out the constant value and so on in this video we are going to learn all of that and just to set the context uh, whenever you have a let's talk about both the thing one is called centering one is fit centering is ppk or cpk right that is centering whenever you are measuring uh, how the values are clustering towards the mean towards the mu value that is called centering and whenever you have the fit that means overall spread of your data and when you can use pp or cp if within the cp and pp and cpk and ppk when to use it whenever you have existing process your process is already gone live and you are you have a you know uh, the products running on on it then cp cpk can be used if the process is brand new hasn't uh, uh, you know hasn't produced it and is still under Uh, shadowing it is still under the validations and all that then you can use pp or ppk for any in simple language any new process pp ppk will be good measurement and any existing process cp cpk will be a good measurement however uh, there is a point depend upon the customer specific requirement the you know the requirement might also change for example some customer automotive customer mainly may ask for directly ppk and directly cpk and all that right let's learn all of that okay this is the data set i have as you can see here uh, measurement data i have so i have 100 values and we are going to learn both the things overall that is uh, cp cpk and uh, and and pp ppk and uh, all that we are going to learn and then within also we are going to learn that is cp cpk everything right if you do it in the x uh, many tab it is super fast right for example let's say i am just pasting the data uh, measurement data all i am doing it is stat and i can go to uh, you know quality tools and directly go to six pack right uh, six pack will give a better version right a uh, normal and i'm just taking this one subgroup is one and uh, the lower specification is 590 and upper specification is 610 and the target is 600 i wish to see all the 100 uh, data okay give okay so this is the one right uh, you can easily see within and overall right and the similar way we are going to do it in excel as i said that pp ppk is very very easy to calculate in excel but within is a tricky part that's what this video is all about okay let's go and do it in excel so for that n equal to 100 because 100 uh, n data value i have is 100 uh, lsl that is given uh, that 590 and upper specification is 610 and the target is 600 we need to find out the mean mean so average formula you can invoke and this is the average formula and the two digit is fine I and mean, if you wanted to keep third digit also fine uh, 600.23 right uh, first uh, we will see what is overall uh, so overall mean pp ppk and all that we can easily find it out uh, that is uh, when you have anything within the standard deviation overall then you can use performance long term right so we can easily easily find it out overall right let's start uh, the formula is in the excel you have to use only yes yes stand for from the sample because from the 100 uh, uh, samples we are going to do p stand for from the population right we don't have end populated value right uh, and we have only samples value so you can just see this and take this array and give okay so now this is what your standard deviation for overall for given data and from that you can easily calculate pp right pp formula again once again it is same uh, the same like cp formula usl minus lsl by 6 times standard deviation the standard deviation i'm going to calculate this so this is the 1.78 uh, we have got it right even in many tab you will find that 1. 
seven eight. We'll come back uh, to one point seven eight. Same value we got PP, right? Let's calculate the PPK also as well. So now what I'm doing it USL minus X bar, right? That is uh, in this case average X bar divided by three times standard deviations. This is the standard deviation and this is the upper value I have got and then we can get another value. Now I will do with the average minus LSL divided by three times standard deviations. So 1.85 and we, we know that the minimum we have to consider minimum of from these two minimum value is 1.74 so this is the ppk value we got it and we got pp value also we got fantastic and cpm is a taguchi model right now we are talking about how many point precisely this is average right this is target target in other word mu value right how many are towards the target so that we can easily calculate pp divided by one plus we are going to compare how many uh, are towards the target right so uh, average minus target divided by you can also use n in this case so this is one cp 1.77 let's see the comparison between in the excel and this one you see here 1.78 we got and ppk 1.74 we got and cpm 1.77 perfectly is matching let's do within within is a very tricky part right and uh, why is a tricky part by the way before we get into it uh, so population if you use this formula in excel uh, this we have used s s stand for sample you can see here yes it stand for sample and this is the formula uh, summation of individual value one to uh, nth value and x that is your individual value and minus your mean value whole square n minus one but here n overall n right that's the only difference between these two okay so always use uh, carefully uh, the one which you have to use in excel is only yes not p okay let's go to within within is very tricky uh, and we have to use this formula the formula is standard deviation within formula is averaging average moving range divided by d2 into uh, whatever subgroups you have that is w right w is number of observation used in the moving range okay first we'll find out what is the average moving range average moving we have to create the average moving and then we have to do it so now i will delete these two i'll show you how to calculate it Always you can start that whenever you're talking about average moving, you have to move one value, right? And maybe that we can, I'm just giving as a reference, MR2, moving range two, or this can be moving range two, yeah? Because we are leaving one, right? And then drag it. So all the way, you will find that range up to 100, you should get it. 100, we are getting it, fantastic. So now, uh, so this is not a range. Range is different and uh, moving, this is different, right? Uh, maybe you will get the X value, I mean, uh, uh, you know, minus value everything. So always use apps, ABS, and this minus the previous value, okay? That is, uh, the, the difference between these two is 1.2, that is moving range, and then drag it up. So just double cl click and just check the, whether the formula is been uh, there. For example, say double click. So this is working and this is also working. Yeah, fine. I'm just uh, just ensuring that all the formula have been deployed it correctly. So this is one part. So now N we have L W is uh, moving range. So moving range usually two, right? So always we leave one and that means we know this one too. Now we can just substitute the formula. First we'll say average moving. So equal to sum, sum of what? Sum this value and divided by n. n we have 100 and then minus d, uh, w is a subgroup and how much is moving? That point plus one is a constant that as per the formula. This is what we got it. And now uh, we have to find out D2 
W, right? That is W we know, subgroup uh, number of observation used in the moving range is 2, we know. D2, W, right? And we have, this is the formula, constant formula, D2, 2. If it is 2, you can see that 1.128. What I'm doing it, 1.128. Now we can easily find it out, the standard deviation within. So standard deviation within is average moving range, that is this formula, divided by D2W, right, this formula. So that means 1.705. Let me crash check with the mini tab, 1.705, perfectly we got it, right? This is the workaround you have to do when you're doing it in Excel. Now the other CPCPK, now it's very easy, right? So CP is for USL minus LSL by six times standard deviation. Now I'm gonna use a standard deviation as this value, right? I'll just bold this up, yeah. And then uh, the similarly we can find our CPK that is process capability index. Index, I'm gonna find it out. Uh, so index, I have to consider the USL minus the average value divided by three into standard deviation. So standard deviation, I will come back and use here. And similarly, I have to use the similar way, uh, the average X bar, X double bar minus LSL divided by three times standard deviation. So standard deviation is here. So we got it. So we know that the minimum value only we have to consider while considering the CPK. So minimum value is 1.91. Okay. Let's see what, how much we got. 1.96 we got and CPK we got it. 1.91. Let's see whether it's true. So you see 1.705, we got it, and 1.96, you can see 1.96, we got it, and uh, CPK is always lower than CP, 1.91, we got 100% is matching with uh, mini tab. So it is 100%, we have done, we calculate CP, CPK, PP, PPK, CPM, all that we have calculated, right? So I have, I have enabled this, uh, all the formula. Now what I'm doing it, I have neck measurement exercise. For example, let's say this is a neck measurement exercise I have. Here the dimension are different. What I'm doing it, I'm just copying this value and uh, I'm just pasting it in my Excel. Automatically all the value will get calculated, but I have to feed the given data, but okay, all the value will get calculated. So just paste this value and n equal to same. Here you can see n equal to 100, uh, perfect. And then the LSL, LSL equal to, 15.5 and USL equal to 16.5 and the target is, you can see the target is 16 and we automatically this is calculated. So let's see whether mini tab is giving the same result, okay? So I'm just uh, going back. So already I have a data. So neck measurement data I have. So what I'm doing it is stat and uh, quality tools, I can directly go for six pack, normal data and uh, neck measurement. And uh, the LSL is 15.5, USL 16.5. And options, I can have a go and then select that as 16 as a target. And we are talking about example number two. Okay, now you see, uh, so first we'll talk about this one. Overall is 0.246, overall standard deviation. Let's come back and see 0.233, perfect. And then you have the CP is 0.71. CP is 0.71. Yeah, so the same value. And then CPK is 0.7. Okay, uh, let me just go back one more time. Okay, what I will do, I will just take this as a print chart and then I will compare so that it will be easy for me. So copy this data and go back and paste it here. So it will be easy for us to compare. So overall, you can see here uh, 0.246 because we have considered only a three digit. If you wanted to consider four digit, that is you, you can very well do. Okay, perfectly, we got it. A PP, we got it 0 0.68, 0 0.68, perfect. And PPK, we got 
0.67 that is matching and similarly we can see the other values like within standard deviation is 0.233 perfect if you wanted to increase the uh, the decimal you can increase and cp is you got the cp value is 0.71 perfect and cpk is 0.7 perfect right so this is how you can uh, e easily do so calculating the overall is pretty much easy we can use the formula called standard deviation dot s and for calculating the within you have to use this formula in order to calculate it i hope you find it uh, this video useful if you want to have this excel uh, let me know all you can do is that you can just feed the value automatically you'll get to have the uh, measurements everything you don't need to invoke any formula automatically it will do all we do have you have to do is you have to change the subject and then add the value automatically the value will be calculated i hope you find it useful please do like share subscribe my channel you have a wonderful day